G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. Now, we got a very interesting fight. Very interesting fight between Josh Kelly, pretty boy Josh Kelly of the UK, who was only 5-0 and with four knockouts versus the former champion of the world, Carlos Molina, and it's been added to the Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker and the annihilation that's going to be David Price and Alexander Povetkin. Now, this is an interesting fight to me because me personally over here at G5 Jeff TV, because if you check the channel, definitely check the channel for this video. I did an episode that's called um, Prospect Spotlight. And the second Prospect Spotlight video I did was on Pretty Boy Josh Kelly. And I was speaking on how impressive he looked and he had a certain swag and pizzazz to him to where he could possibly take his talents over to the States. And I said in that video, and again, check that video out on the channel. You know, I said, hopefully in the next maybe year or two, they would step him up against, you know, fringe contenders and, and, um, you know, kind of journeymen and fights like that to put him in position for a title fight. And I said about two years in that video, and I just dropped that video maybe a couple of months ago. So for Josh Kelly and his camp to feel comfortable enough to fight a former champion and Carlos Molina in his sixth fight, this is this is Vasil Lomachenko type stuff in terms of how fast they're moving his career. This is... Guillermo Rigondeaux type stuff in terms of how quick they're moving his career. And let me get to Carlos Molina. Carlos Molina, now he is coming off of two losses, two consecutive losses. And I think they've both been at 147 pounds. And the one thing about Carlos Molina, he's a former champion. He's been in with absolutely everybody, but He's been in with everybody at 140 at 154 pounds, not 147. And let's see. I know he fought K9, K9 Bundridge in 2014. I think he lost that fight. He fought EJ Smith in 2013, won that fight. He fought Corey Spinks. 2013, won that fight. He fought um who else? He fought Kermit Centrum like in 2011. He won that fight. He fought to a draw with Ares Landy Lara, which is the hardcore fans, uh, one of their favorite fighters. And that was in 2011. He fought Ares Landy Lara to a draw. And that's impressive within itself. And then he also fought James Kirkland, where his corner man went into the ring for some reason, and I I don't remember, but his corner man went into the ring for some reason, and Carlos Molina ended up getting um, disqualified in that fight because his corner man went in the ring, and he was on the way to beating James Kirkland. He was on his way to beat James Kirkland, and this was when James Kirkland was, was hot. He was a, a hot contender during that time, and I think that was the start of the... Um, the chinks in the armor showing for James Kirkland. But my point is, uh, Carlos Molina's been in the ring with everybody. Everybody. Now, with him losing his last two fights, I'm assuming they were both at 147. Maybe he's just at that in-between weight where he he's too small for the 154-pounders, but it might be becoming difficult for him to make 147. Um... But he is a, this is a tough matchup. This is a tough matchup. I'm going to have to do some homework on Carlos Molina's last two fights to see how he was looking. But just off of, you know, just his career and how much um, of a problem he's been to so many fighters, for Josh Kelly and his team to, to feel 
comfortable enough to take this fight. And on top of that, under the bright lights of an Anthony Joshua event, this is this is a big step for Josh Kelly. Win or lose, I I don't know if I was advising Josh Kelly. I I don't know if I take this fight because even with Carlos Molina losing fights in his career, you know, because he's twenty eight and eight with eight KOs, the numbers don't jump out at you. But you gotta really be a boxing fan to understand what Carlos Molina brings to the table. I I don't know if I would take this fight if I was uh Josh Kelly. If Josh Kelly goes in here and he and he blows out Carlos Molina, that that's impressive. That's some impressive shit. If he goes in here and wipes out Carlos Molina, and I am not overvaluing Carlos Molina. Let's get that out of the way. I'm not overvaluing Carlos Molina, but he is a tough out for anybody. For anybody. I just gotta evaluate and see how he how he has looked in his last two fights, I think that's going to be important in terms of my evaluation. Now, depending on how he looked in the last two fights, even though he lost, if I can find them fights, I might even do a prediction video on this fight Um, because I'm going to do one on Anthony Joshua and uh, Joseph Parker Um, for shits and giggles. I might do one for Povetkin and uh, David Price as well, but um, this is a very, very interesting fight. I'm very intrigued by this fight. Um, this is a good, good card, actually. Uh, Joshua Parker, Pavekin, David Price, and then Josh Kelly and Carlos Molina. This is a solid, solid card. Very solid card. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section of, uh, Josh Kelly. Have you seen him fight? What do you think of Josh Kelly? And do you think Carlos Molina have anything left in the tank? How interesting of a fight is this for you guys, you let me know in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. Appreciate y'all. Peace.